Greetings, dear friends. Happy Monday. Here we are on a bright, beautiful, sunshiny, summery day. I hope you had a lovely weekend. It's Moira here checking in with you to see with our letting go guidance system, what can we focus upon letting go of in order to more fully align with our own heart's calling, our soul's calling, and shine our light. Because, you know, I believe that's really the purpose of all of our life um, experiences, that that's what, what, what we're all becoming more and more who we truly are, the essence of us. And that's what I love to just come and hang out with you. And if you're here live, say hi. Or if you're just watching the replay, um, we, we're going to do this together. We're going to take some nice deep breaths and just land into this moment. Just take a wee, wee time out on your, your Monday as you may be starting a week, a new week. Oh, and you know this, I just realized too, um, today is a full moon. We have a full moon tonight. So this full moon seems to be bringing a sense of freedom, a sense of wrapping things up, having taken care of um, things over the next, last maybe couple of months. And so the, this this essence or this energy that we're feeling into is a there's a freedom, there's a freshness. Uh, and also when, when we have a full moon, it's like kind of the, the resolution or the, the showing up of what it is that you've been working towards or um, creating. So I wonder if you're feeling that a little bit. I use the psych phases of the moon as journal prompts. So I just kind of check in and feel what, what is the energy happening with that. And so having said all of that, just take a nice deep breath, come into this moment with me. And just see in our minds, we can, as we're taking these nice deep breaths and just arriving here, we can see what can I focus on letting go of in order to more fully feel the guidance from my heart, more feel, more fully be the essence of light that I truly am. And this is what we're doing together. And then we will see which one wants to come out this week. And I think it's going to be this one right here. And so we're going to work on letting go of negative body image. And so how does that show up? When you look at yourself in the mirror, do you feel loving and accepting of what you see, what the image is? Or is there a part of you that's saying, you know, criticizing it or wishing that you were a different shape or a different weight or, or you know, sometimes you look at, look at our our, our face even and, and start judging. Hey Randy, nice to see you here. So we're looking, we're going to be focusing on letting go of negative body image. And so like I say, just sit in with that and how does that show up? Sometimes it can be that we're criticizing what we see in the mirror, but other times it could be that we're not allowing ourselves to give the loving care to our body, you know, like eating night, eating healthy and getting enough rest and getting outside. And so things like that. So just rest into that and see how does that show up? And then I'm going to read out of the guidance book to see um, if this gives you a little bit more, more insights, more ideas to, to go into. And, you know, as I'm thinking about this, the idea of letting go Letting go is very much about accepting what is and then seeing what you can do that's more healthy, that, that, that gives you a sense of yes at your heart level. And so you can do things like um, use affirmations. You can choose something different. You, could, you can do visualizations. Um, lots of different ways that you can let go of this propensity to be critical, to be negative about your your physical body so let me read this out to you you are beautiful right now just the way you are there is really only one person's opinion you should be concerned with when it, it comes to your body and that's yours if you are comfortable in your own skin and you're healthy then that should be the only thing that matters do not let others tell you that you are not beautiful because when you believe you are, then you are. And this is like, we actually sometimes do, can buy into um, media or other people's opinions about how we should look and really need to heal that and come back to just being okay with who you are. Healthy people have a self image that's separate from their body image. They have an identity that's about many things. 
Perhaps their identity focuses on being a friend, a student, a parent, or just having a loving nature. Maybe their focus is on a hobby, an instrument, or an animal. There are many things that go into a person's identity or feelings of specialness and self-worth. And on top of it all, they have a body that they take care of and live in. When someone has a negative image, negative body image, they generally do not feel special and don't have a strong sense of identity and worth. They latch on to being thin as something they can, can do and control and be good at. And then their self-image and their body image get twisted up and they think they're only as good as their body looks to them. In what ways can you feel or be special that have nothing to do with your looks? Can you imagine what it would feel like if you felt worthy? What are some of the other ways you might separate your body image from your self image? So this is, this is an ongoing thing. Like how can you just show up and be you, be who you, the essence of you, let, let your light shine. And I've talked to you about this before, about that is your responsibility is to bring your uniqueness into this game of life that we're all playing together. So how can you separate what your physical vessel looks like from who you truly are at the core and see what you can come up with and do it. And it's important to do this in, from a sense of love and acceptance and ease. It can be easy too, you know. I'm just shuffling these Dorian Virtue angel cards because I, I like to, to use these as a support and, and just to give so maybe, maybe some more insights into this idea of letting go of a negative body image. And also these give some nice loving, there's always loving nature in these cards. So let's see what we have today. And they're very good ones. They usually are. So the first one being friendship. So this is very, this is perfect for um, being your own best friend let go of that judgment of I'm not good enough or I am this or right so it's just to 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 um, acknowledge this physical form that allows you to experience and express who you truly are at the heart level at your soul and then you become a, the new love so this I love this because when you, we do really get into a, a good strong healthy self-image then you can find that there's so much to love about you. But of course, when we do that, sometimes we start beating ourselves up about, that was forgiveness, that, I, that is the third card. And so sometimes when we, you know, reconcile that we've been too critical or too harsh or too negative on our own self, then we sometimes can get into a sense of feeling shameful or feeling guilty of, that we have done this for too long. So if that does come up for you, then take a deep breath. That was then, this is now, and you can always choose something new. So I wish you a really wonderful week and really see, see your own conversation, the inner dialogue. And even if you catch yourself being critical about your, your physical body, take a deep breath and say, that's the old way of doing it. I'm choosing something new. So above all, I wish you much, much joy as you walk forward into this beautiful new week. Much love. Thanks for watching.